So, we just got this Samsung 55 8 series MU 8000. That's Amelia playing over there. And it's Christmas, and Amelia, we didn't like the Christmas tree. Come over here. There we go. And we haven't bought a TV in 10 years. This is a Samsung TV from 2007, I believe. And it's a 30, what's this, a 37 inch? 40 inch Samsung LED LCD TV. I don't even know the model number of this one, so we're replacing that with a 55 inch on that. It's a regular basic mount, so I'm gonna just put this on that mount. And um, this is uh, look at the specs. I don't really watch TV, no one in this house really watch TV, but my wife wanted it, and um, that's the reason I got this one because it has a 240. 240 motion, um, clear motion rate. I like that. Smart Hub, Netflix, all TVs have that, and and that's about it. And it has the 4K Color Extreme, 4, 4K HDR. Not even sure what any of that is. And that's the model number there. So we're gonna mount this. I'm gonna pause the video, mount this, and see how it looks. But that's what we have now. So. Um, Hey guys, so I finally got the TV installed. Um, it's actually about four days from the first, um, from a second ago when you saw the uh, smaller TV in the wall. Um, the reason is I had to go out and buy a rocket fish mount. The mount wasn't the same size. This is a 55 inch. We had a 30, I think a 40 inch TV on there. And I had to go buy the mount and then um, my wife and daughter was traveling. So it was apartment was a mess packing and everything getting ready for um, the trip so this is the Samsung <clears throat> 55 8000 series uh, the 8000 H I believe uh, I'm sorry the F K just link back um, look down below and you'll see what TV this is uh, now <clears throat> it looks good as you see there's less cables running from the TV to the uh, the boxes there I'm gonna talk about that first before we even talk about the TV. I've been playing, it's been hooked up today. I've been watching, I watched a couple of games on there, a couple of movies. Um, enough time with it to form an opinion. So I'm gonna talk about the cabling first on this bad boy. Now you get the two cables. One is the power for the TV and one cable is a media cable that goes to a Samsung, it's called a Connect Box or One Connect Box, something I'm not, don't remember the um, name of it. But basically what this does is take the cabling away from the TV that normally would go to that TV and connect all your, um, I guess your accessories to the TV. It just take, pulls it away from the TV and puts it somewhere else. Now, the cable is actually really, really long. I think one of the reviews I saw on the Best Buy website was saying that this cable is really short when someone mounted it. But it is really long. Like I think I could drag this across the living room <laughs> to the other side. Now the problem with this is now... It kind of pulls the cable in from there to like below everything. So like if you have like a cabinet here, which is what I'm going to buy, like a little cabinet stand thing, put that there to hide all the cable in. It look much neater. My wife wanted this double stacked um, floating um, sort of a holder for the uh, cable box. And uh, we actually upgraded the PlayStation to, I think this was it, PlayStation 4. So we just got that for Christmas. Um... My wife bought it. I'm not, we don't play video games, but I think she wants the uh, Blu-ray player or whatever um, media that plays in there. I think it's Blu-ray or 4K DVDs or something, HDDs, DVDs. So she has a, a massive like Disney collection and disc and she wanted that for that. As well as the Netflix and the um, smart media stuff on there. Um, so that's one thing. We also have a fire stick somewhere in here um, in this jumble of cables. Uh, yeah, so we have a fire stick as well. So we have the fire stick the PlayStation 4, uh, and the TV. And the, just those three connections. Now, I'm going to probably get rid of the Fire Stick, and I'm not even sure we're going to use the PlayStation 4. We've had the three for about, I don't know, a couple of years, and we probably only used it once uh, for playing video games. And the reason we got rid of the three is because my daughter, when she was little, it was much lower on the ground. She'd put cookies into the um, 
the disc tr tray. Like she'd feed it cookies and sandwich food and stuff. So it stopped working, but the um, the Netflix and the YouTube and everything else worked. So now the reason is we probably won't even use that or the Fire Stick is because this TV is really cool. It's a smart TV, but it's one of the coolest smart TVs I've ever seen. First of all, the remote control looks like this. It's basically one center button. It's actually identical to the Fire um, the Fire Stick remote, as well as the, I think the Apple TV remote looks similar like this, where it's just one main button that does everything. And you have a home button to pull up a, sort of a menu for different things, options, and you use this, um, the, this main button here is like a wheel, so it's sort of like a big cell phone with this is the home button on your cell phone and you would navigate um, through different selections on the TV. Now we have our Netflix hooked up to this, so I'll show you um, the Netflix. Let's play a trailer. So this one button is doing everything, which is really cool. So this one button is selecting as well um, as being a master button. It also selects. So I'll turn the volume up on this bad boy. I'm so used to you picking up the cable remote, but you could do the volume on this. It's really good volume. <clears throat> and you can see how it looks. Uh, it's Samsung calls this um, clear motion 240 megahertz. Um, and I'm assuming it's equivalent to just a regular... Um, um, frame rate of a 240, um, um, I guess, amount. Normally, frame rates are like 120, um, 60 for really older TVs. 120 is really good, but this claims it's 240. 240 is where everything looks really smooth, and it it looks smooth to me. It looks really good. Um, so that's that. You could go back to your regular TV by uh, hitting that home wheel again, and. I'm going to just go, I think it's home. And then you could just go right back to your TV and get out of Netflix. So like I said, it's really cool. We have files, so it's going to take me to the files and the thing that takes you back to the TV. <clears throat> now we have, uh, and I think I just turned something off. No, I didn't. So you can also use the cable remote to turn up the TV. I really like the TV. It's um, much better than what we had before. I watch um, a lot of soccer, so... But sadly enough, the soccer channel that we have is not an HD. I don't think, oh, it does say HD, but I'm pretty sure it's not 4K HD. <clears throat> so. I'm going to try uh, a movie channel so you guys can see how <sighs> different things uh, look. I don't even watch TV, so I don't know which one is HBO. So we don't really watch TV. Normally, I'd, we have tablets. We watch Netflix. Um, basically, the typical American family. Everyone comes home and <clears throat> and does their own thing on their cell phones or tablets or whatever. So the TV in our house never really gets turned on. Um, we do watch Family Feud and the news on this thing. So it's re really funny that those are the things we watch. So that's the HD. Um, look at that. You can see the bead of sweat in this guy's face. That is really, really cool. Like the detail you see is much better on this uh, TV, which is really cool. There is a bit of glare. You see the Christmas tree glaring off the side right there from the Christmas tree to the TV. So it is a shiny kind of finish. So it does get a bit of glare on that TV. But look at that. You can see the guy sweating. I know it's a um, movie sweat. It's not probably not real sweat because that's weird how that sweat is just on his face like that. But this is uh, Black Hawk Down. And... This is um, like a regular movie. Looks really good. I'm going to sit on the couch to show you guys how it kind of looks on the wall. I think it's a little tad crooked to that side. It's lower on that side. And it's higher on that side, the way it goes across there. You kind of can see it here. So that's kind of how it looks when it's mounted. It's very, very well done. It looks good. The only thing, like I said, the cable in now is moved, it's moved from there to down there, which is... Uh, which is uh, ghastly, I think, but that's that's that, guys. Um, let's see if my soccer is on. And I watched a couple of games this morning, it looked really good in there. So, um, sound is really good. And like I said, you don't even need the cable remote, but 
I'm so used to it, I'm coming back to it. <clears throat> you can do everything from the uh, TV remote in terms of controlling the cable channel and stuff. So I'm waiting for this game to come back. It's PSG, I think. I don't really watch French League soccer, but you know, all the stars are playing for PSG today, so <clears throat> might as well. So guys, that's it. Um, that's my review of the Samsung 50. So that's my review, sorry guys. Um, I actually got the box. It's the 8 Series, the MU8000. Um, I believe BJ's and Costco sells the same TV, but there's extra letters. It's 800 and it's like a K or F or some letter there. So that's this TV. It's a 5 inch one. And this is the Rocket Fish mount I got. Yeah, make sure when you upgrade the size of your TV, you have to look at these numbers, the inches of your TV and your wall mount. And this does allow for tilting. I think they all allow for tilting, but the guy did ask me at Best Buy if I wanted to tilt it. But there's no option for non-tilting. Because if it tilts, you can have it straight up as well. So it's pretty silly. So that's that. It's it's pretty good mount. It's easy. So I'm going to just go behind the TV to show you guys how it looks. So it's very flush with the wall. I like how that looks and that's how our sporting game looks like I said there is glare off that Christmas tree but that's only gonna be there for the next couple of weeks I love this guys this is beautiful look at that clarity in that bye guys see you guys um later on